Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. We're still in Kaer Morhen, uh, drunk off our asses and Eskel! Lambert and Geralt are still yelling Eskel. for Askel because he went to find some more booze and never returned. Well, it wasn't that long ago, but... Spilled some wine and crawled through it. You must have seen that happen. See that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. <laughs> okay. Let's go find, uh, let's go follow the Eskel! footsteps. Eskel! Those are some blurry Eskel! ass footsteps. Where the hell did he go? He went around in circles. Yeah, I can't run by the way as well, so, uh... Eskel, chop chop. Chop chop. Eskel, chop chop. So, uh, yeah, he must have spilled a lot of wine because this doesn't look like a normal Esco, you drunk! Get out of here! His feet are all sideways constantly. Is that because we're drunk and we're seeing his footsteps wrong, or because he was drunk? Probably a bit of both. Esco! So let's open hey. the door. You hear that? Sounded like panting of a wounded wyvern. Damn it! We missed the fight. I think he, I think he hurt himself. What's one scar more or less in his case? Makes no Uh-huh. Eskel's close. Uh, I think Hang he's in there, brother. We're coming. Sleeping off whatever he was doing. Eskel and the goat. Eskel, chop. The chop. goat was still alive. Hey. Look. There he is. There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. That thing is still alive for some reason. Hello, Eskel. Wake up! Uh, what? What happened? Well, we're Got wondering spots, the same thing. Stewed and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up! Time to have a drink. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Not my hair, but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. <laughs> what about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that <laughs> sound? his face with the stupid bonnet on his head. <laughs> You're a genius, or I think you've had your last drink. I think you've had your last drink. Lambert, believe you've had your last drink. You're just jealous you didn't think of it first, but is that any reason to spoil it for us? I don't have the strength to argue. Of course you don't, cream puff. <laughs> Bet I could take you with one finger. Hey, that relax, sounded dirty. Lambert. You wanna fight? Huh? Wanna? Come on! Good night. He's gonna barf in his face, isn't he? <laughs> no place like home. Next morning. Well, hopefully he got to sleep that off, cause, uh... Well... Damn. That was one drunken party. Dream. Um... I would get dressed, cause, uh, they look like they have some work to do. And you too. Cause Uma hasn't transformed, apparently. Ooh, ah. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. <laughs> Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a wrap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Okay. Um, you learn anything, Vesemir? Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first. But as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh, a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. 
Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Well, at least that's something. Thought that table was long gone. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Yeah. Must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Yeah, they wear funny Every bonnets. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. Sad Albert. So, that's where they uh, formed the uh, trial of grasses always. So, uh, what now? Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. <laughs> well, chop chop. Okay, so gather the necessary ingredients and brew the decoctions of the grasses. You don't know who strapped Enuma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations, extrapolated some data, ran simulations. Meaning you guessed. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she guessed. Gather the necessary ingredients and brew the decoctions of the grasses. So maybe we already have everything. No, we uh, miss a few. Ingredients, but that's probably in the because the fork tail spinal fluid we gathered that for her Manticora Manticora poison gland and an albino broxatone That's I'm glad we don't have to ga gather that ourselves Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna take the rest as well Va fail Elaine so That's the those are the first words of those curse. I think so let's create the decoctions of the grasses there we go. So the other three ingredients were also needed. And now we're gonna bring Yennefer the potions. Hello love, here they are. Potions ready. Tools too. Good. Vesemir? And now the moment. Pokeweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel. Make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. And let's hope this works. Because she doesn't look convinced as well. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. Lambert disapproves. Let's start with Mother's Tears. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock and killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Here we go, wild ride juice. See, we can actually try and stop this, but I don't think you will actually follow through with, well, stopping it. Poor guy. I had hoped. I'd hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table then? He still doesn't like it. Geralt, next potion. And the final one, spear grass sap. There we go. Seems to have what calmed now? him down a bit. Now we wait for the potions to do their work. Might take a day. Might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... Yep. Do more That's than throw up, probably. Would you mind? Getting some rags. On it. Her pretty clothes are all dirty. Uh, I can't believe we 
doing this? Wiping vomit off the floor? No. The trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? Yeah, we did, but we don't know. We don't have really have a choice in this matter, because everything else failed. So let's hope that Yennefer knows what she's doing. I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. Go ahead, Askel. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. Uh, I'd prefer that too. <laughs> I think he took that as an offense, but... We don't even get to see that. So she's... Holding on to that spell for hours already. So it's uh, toughest for her as well. He doesn't look so great. Uma's body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it. We'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. Keep no, her awake. I'm just resting my eyes. Dozing off. It's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. <laughs> Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Hmm. Ever tell you about Dandelion buying me a sword? Let's uh, get on with the ice skating story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first, then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. That she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Okay, then. The big moment is here. And let's just Anything hope this works. Never. Savi. Kawal. Arriva. Endia. Is she defibrillating him with her hands? He's hearing the voice again. Koal. Koal. Tania Tad. Never severe. Koal. Koal. Tania Tad. So Never. someone gave her a spell Kaliba. she needed. And there we go. A man. Another woman. And an elven man at that. Uh, you know him? Yes. An elf. An elf. And Sage. magic loading, apparently. Where is Siri? And to uh, make this completely connected with everything else we've been seeing. So Avalach is actually the elven sage that we've been seeing in the flashbacks and the projections in, uh, in Valen. And in Skellig, of course. What does the hunt want from her? The hunt. 
What's it want from Siri? Her blood. Elder blood. Not that we didn't already know that. The gate. Except for that. We cannot. We cannot allow this. And where is that? Isle of Mists. Where is it? Everywhere. And nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Pavane. Arwen. Shram. Listen, listen. And Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. So that thing will guide us tried to towards her. it, the magic firefly. But the curse. The hunt has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. If she leaves, they will detect her. So, uh, will he make it, actually? Is he gonna make it? I can't... No. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. I've seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through, do you understand? Well, it was all or nothing anyway, so uh, we're going off to Siri. I'm going to get Siri. Hold on. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalon? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Ciri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? Hmm. What do you suggest? But, uh, we will be waiting. We'll be waiting for them, swords in hand. Yes. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Yes, because that's exactly what our next task is. I'll get our allies. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good looking women in that batch? Mm -hmm. A few. Exclusively. <laughs> uh, what'll you do? Hopefully repairing the castle. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. Turn that thing off, Yennefer. Gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than not. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. So you tell that come back quickly, but... It's actually not required, since there's not really a rush behind this uh, next bit of the quest. I'll uh, explain to you when I get outside. So the next quest is the Isle of Mists. We finally know where uh, Ciri is. She's hidden on the Isle of Mists. And that's actually our next, well, uh, pointer. But we also receive a buttload of other quests, all uh, titled Brothers in Arms, to uh, gather allies to help defend the castle when the wild hunt actually appears here. Um, so that's something we're gonna do first. I think we did pretty much every quest we needed to recruit all the uh, the allies. So we've seen there that the the quest to gather our allies in Valen was already completed. 
since we already told Kira Mats, if you remember her, to get back to uh, Care Morhen, and she's actually the only ally we could gather over there, since the Baron's Band won't help us. So I'm gonna quickly show you who else we can recruit. So in Novigrad, we already talked to Triss and uh, helped her finish uh, her quest line, the Now or Never quest, mostly. So uh, we already have Triss, we don't need to do anything else about that. Uh, other than that, we have Zoltan, Vernon Roach and Dijkstra. We did the Conspiracy to Kill the King uh, preparation quest, so we have Vernon Roach and Dijkstra, because we helped Roach with the Vess as well. Uh, and Zoltan will uh, join you anyway. And then in Skellige we have Ermion, which will join you anyway. So you don't need to really do anything to get him to help. Because, um, well, he raised Ciri and he doesn't need any motivation to help her. And then Kroch and Ceres, uh, they will also join. Because if either Kroch or Ceres become king uh, or queen... Um, so, no, wait, 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 I have this wrong. So if you help Hjalmar kill the giant of Unvik, uh, he will go with you if you help Saris unravel the riddle of Udalric's madness, she will come help you. Uh, but I think it's necessary that either of them is king or queen, otherwise they won't help you as well. Um, and since we, well, helped them out that either Uncrate was on the throne, we get them to help us as well and then we also need to pay a visit to the emperor and uh, ask him for any help he can send us so that's something we need to do next however i do have a lot of other quests uh, as well i'm gonna do uh, the brothers in arms quest in the next episode but after that i'll probably do a few more secondary quests because a few of them might fail once we complete uh, well start off the Isle of Mist because it's uh, bringing us straight into act two when we start this quest but that will be for the next time uh, so thank you guys enormously for watching if you like the episode don't forget to like it right here on YouTube and next next time we're gonna gather our brothers and sisters in arms to help defend Kaer Morhen from uh, the wild hunt so if you enjoyed everything else so far and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to uh, give that a thought, because I'd really appreciate if you do. Uh, and well, thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!